There was something about the light that night. The sun was just setting over Lake Alexander, and we were walking out on the ice with an epiphany of expectations. This would be my first ice fishing trip with my daughter Kaya. She's five years old. So we proceeded to set up the Eskimo Quick Fish 3, our ice shack. We got the heat going. I brought the 20 pound tank with the sunflower heater. Got the Coleman lantern all lit up. And it was warm and light. And with our eyes affixed on those jittery bobbers, we were ready. We were ready for action. On that cold night, we were cozy and warm in that ice shack because of the warmth and light. For 125 years, Trinity has been a safe and cozy and warm place. A warm and bright place on those cold, dark nights and cold mornings like this. Lit by our faith in Christ and lit by our mission as we continue to care and share and reach out to our community and to our world. The wise men, some many, many epiphanies ago, were also moving forward in mission, following the light. It was a cold and clear, dark night as they followed this star. And somehow that star had stopped and showed them the place where Jesus was. And it was there that they were at the place of the Savior. It was a holy place, a place that was fitting and right on that memorable night. Back in the ice shack on Lake Alexander, my daughter was getting sort of anxious. It had been about five minutes that we were sitting there. <laughs> the sun had gone down and she wanted to go out and look at the stars. So we walked out onto that cold, crunchy snow. It kind of feels like a different world outside. It kind of feels alien and distant and cold, like you're walking on another planet. And this experience sort of flashed me back to when she was an infant. It reminded me that whenever she would cry as a baby, my best technique was to just open the door, no matter if it was 20 below outside, I'd go outside, hold her outside, and she would stop crying. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was there, but I shouldn't say 20 below, I should say on a mild uh, 20 above, Sunny day, there we go. So, yeah, it's an amazing thing. So what happened is five years later, she's five years old, and she was overcome with the quietness and stillness of the scene, looking up at the stars on that cold, clear night. We were just in awe of God's creation. And by some small chance, probably a very small chance. I wonder if we gazed upon that same star that those wise men did many, many, many epiphanies ago that led those wise men on their journey on some epiphany so long ago. And so as goosebumps begin to overwhelm us or overcome us for different reasons. For me, I thought the moment was really cool. That's why I was getting goosebumps. For her, she was getting goosebumps because the moment was really cold. So as we turn back to the shack, it was an amazing thing. Our shack was bright, glowing red. Not because it was on fire, <laughs> but that glow, that warmth that came out of the shack in that cold, dark night 
just lit up the area. And so as we made our way back into the shack, we were hoping to see and feel the warmth and the light, but better yet, we were hoping that a bobber would be down. No such luck. On cold and clear evenings, as I pull into Trinity Lutheran Church and I see this beautiful array of lights, and when you're pulling over on this street over here, I think it's Willow Street, and you look out over Trinity and then South 6th Street, you see what a beautiful and warm place this is. You experience the bright lights, and as you come in, the warm people, the warm coffee, the real radiance of Christ in this community. It's one thing to hear this from me, but it's what we hear from visitors when they visit Trinity. They say there's a warmth about this place. The people are so warm and friendly. And so over the past two months, we have sent out two, over 200 postcards that have gone out to people who have just newly moved into, uh, recently moved into our area. It is a warm invitation to worship for those who have just recently moved here. Trinity is a warm place for all to come and for all who haven't yet. Upon coming to the manger, the wise men were overwhelmed with joy. They honored the Christ child, the Savior. They knelt down and gave him fine gifts. This epiphany season here at Trinity brings upon the same overwhelming sense of joy. When we, like the wise men did, on a cold, clear night, or on a cold morning like this, are warmed and overjoyed from the encounter with the Christ child. The wise men were unexpectedly overwhelmed. It was an epiphany. Yes, they had orders from Herod to go and pay homage to the Christ child, but something, something happened. Something happened to those wise men, and that something was faith. Something warmed them and lit up their world. It was Jesus Christ, the newborn king. So gifts, these gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, were not given so much out of duty as they were of grace. These gifts were given by grace, through grace. The wise men's encounter with the Christ child truly changed them. At the end of our gospel reading, it says they did not return to Herod. They took another road. Upon Christ's warmth and light, the wise men were moved by faith and not fright that night. So back in the glowing red shack on Lake Alexander, Kaya has a fish on. With the drag set really light, boy, did that fish fight. She brought it through the hole, and behold, it was a beautiful black and bronze walleye, 17 inches long, her first walleye. It was awesome. She said, Dad, can we keep it as a pet? And she kept it. <laughs> so we, after this, the highlight of the evening, we had to be home for dinner and bed. So we decided to head. As we were packing up, something really neat happened amidst the chaos of packing random stuff up in the dark. My daughter said, Dad, can I, can I hold the light as we go back to the car? Can I show us the way back? And I said, sure. <laughs> I guess, yeah, go for it. And so on that way home, I followed the light. I followed my daughter. Yes, it was a different and windy path. But we made it back all right. Like the wise men, 
on that cold, clear night, I took a different way home. It was not the direct way back to the car, but I followed the light that night. For you and I, here, worshiping and warmed by Christ, this is what Epiphany is all about. In your times of darkness, in your times of shivering cold, in your times of fright in the night, that you trust Christ's light, that you are warmed by grace in the shivering cold, and that in your times of fear, you would have faith. 2013, as you and I can already feel, will be full of challenges. But we move forward in faith, like wise men and wise women. Today, we will be guided by the light of Christ. We move forward in faith like a child, like my daughter, going confidently into that cold, dark night, trusting that the light will cast out the darkness and that faith, our faith, will lead us down a new road, trusting that the light of Christ will guide us home. There was something about the light that night. Amen.